These videos are designed to help you get organized. Pause the video after each tip and try it on your computer. It's a really good idea to come up with a small number of master folders for all your info, as I've done here. Fewer master folders make it much easier to file and find your email or documents fast. We'll discuss an easy to implement five folder system later, but first let's start with some eFolder basics. To create a new folder, simply right click within Explorer and select New and Folder. You can make copies of folders by highlighting the folder and hitting Control C, Control V. Each time I hit V, a new folder is created. You can highlight all your folders by clicking on Control A, and I'm doing this because I'm going to rename all of them. When I hit F2, it allows me to rename my folder, Client, and when I click outside that folder or I click Enter, watch what happens. All the folders are renamed. This can be useful if you're trying to name a large number of photographs which are all the same name like X7352. This will change them to, you know, New Year's Eve party. Now, if you have a folder that perhaps is at the bottom of your string, let's say it's XYZ company, then of course it'll be in alphabetical order, it'll be at the bottom of your folder. But if you're at the top of your folder string and you just hit X, notice that it will take you right straight down to that folder. So that's a great way to surf down quickly to a folder that you're looking for that might be buried at the end of a long string of folders. But what if this is a really important account? If I number it, one XYZ company, whoop, XYZ company, and click outside of it, notice how it shoots right to the top. So it's a great idea to prioritize your most used or most important folders by numbering them one, two, three, so they'll rise to the top of your folder string. It's a great way to make your information easier to access so that you can get more work done.